In this video, we will discuss the zone-based analysis in the SMS Advanced Desktop software. This analysis tool generates zones based on a user's selected layer that then ranks the productivity of each zone, finding the natural grouping of the data, and grouping it into regions that have common characteristics. You can also customize the productivity ratings so that the rankings can then be applied across multiple fields. To begin, click the Analysis Wizard icon in the main toolbar. Select the Zone-Based Analysis option and choose Add. Enter a descriptive name for the new analysis and click Next. On the following screen, you will add all data sets that contain the information that you would like to reference when creating the zones. Click Add Data Set and use the data filters to select the data sets you wish to include and then click Next, then OK. Optionally, you can add a common ranking for each field by checking the Zone Productivity Rating box. Now, select the data that you want to reference. It is common practice to use multi-year averages data. Select OK, Finish, and OK again. In the next window, you will choose the attribute from the selected layer to use for the ranking, the desired number of zones, and also enter the zone names. When finished, select OK to return to the Analysis Input Datasets window, then click Next. In the Select Attributes and Properties for Zone Creation window, select the attributes and properties from the chosen datasets to be used to group the data into zones. After all the values are selected, click Next. In the following window, you will select the method you would like to use to generate the zones. If you choose Fixed, you will have that number of zones. If you choose Optimize, then SMS will calculate the various number of possible groupings and provide the number of zones that best fit the data you selected. Once a method is chosen, you will then select a method to determine the minimum zone size. If you select Auto, the zones will be based on the size of the field boundary using the chart that you can see here. If Fixed is selected, there will be no zones that are smaller than the area that you enter. Select Finish when you have your method selected. This zone-based analysis function has now been saved and can be run for single or multiple fields. To run the analysis, highlight the name and click the appropriate Run option at the bottom. Choose the Grower, Farm, and Field to run the analysis for, click Next, and then Finish. The Analysis Editor will open once the analysis completes. Please note that at this time you cannot edit this new dataset until after you have saved it to your management tree. To save this to your tree, click the Save button. The Management Selection window will open where you will select where to save before clicking Accept. You have now successfully created and saved a zone-based analysis. You can reference this layer for other purposes, such as when generating comparison analyses, creating prescriptions, or for general field management. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.